So the first link in the description will take you to this page of ActiveCampaign where we can sign up for a free account. The sign up process is really simple. You just have to follow along with the instructions that they give us here. So the first thing we need to do is type in our email address to start our account. So I'm just gonna type in one of my email addresses because I already have an account with ActiveCampaign so I'm just gonna use a new email. So type in your email and click start your free trial. Okay, so the next step is to type in our names. So just type it in here and click next step. Then we need to type in our phone number. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and then click next step. Okay, so now they wanna have some information about our business. This is just so they get to know their customers a little bit better so they can improve their product. So just type in whatever applies to you. I'm just gonna give them the information that I am doing online training education and I only have one employee which is myself and then I have um, almost 5,000 contacts so between 2,500 and 5,000. But again just type in or um, select uh, whatever applies to you. And then click next step. Okay so now I want to know what kind of goals we'd like to achieve with our active campaign account. This again is just for them. So um, for me, it's to create a, a more personalized and automated customer journey um, and build and send more targeted and segmented emails. Then I'm gonna click next step. And here they wanna have information about what tools we are currently using. Um, you can also skip this step if you don't wanna spend any time uh, choosing those tools. So I'm just gonna click skip step. Then we have to choose a password, make sure it's a strong password and also one that you can remember. Then we click take me to my account. And that's already it. We have now signed up for a 14 day free trial with Active Campaign. We didn't need to give them any credit card information. They will be asking for that once your trial runs out after the 14 days, you're gonna have to uh, choose a paid plan uh, if you decide to keep using Active Campaign. So what we're gonna start off with is just um, clicking on the top left here on the Active Campaign logo, which will take you to the Active Campaign dashboard that you see whenever you log in to your Active Campaign account. So the first thing that we need to do is add a physical address to your Active Campaign account because Active Campaign doesn't uh, allow you to send out emails without a physical address at the bottom of every email because by law it's required that you have a physical address of your company at the bottom of your emails. So to do that, we're gonna click on settings on the bottom left corner, and then we're gonna click on addresses on the top left. Then we need to add at least one address. So we're gonna click on add an address on the top right. And I'm just gonna invent something here, but for you, obviously, it should be your real um, company address and everybody will see that at the bottom of the marketing emails that you will be sending out. So I'm just gonna invent something here. I'm gonna type in example company. All right, so once you've filled that out, click on add address and that's already done. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the dashboard by again clicking on the top left side on the active campaign logo. That will take us back to our dashboard and we also see the menu on the left side. So what we're gonna do now is click on lists to see if you already have an email list set up. And as you see, the master contact list is already set up for us in our new Active Campaign account. So you don't actually need to create a new list. You can use that list if you wanna change the name of it. Just click on the, on the arrow on the, on the right side here and then click on edit. And then you can change the name to whatever you want to and also your list description or your list URL. But it doesn't really matter, I think, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is and I'm gonna close it down. And um, you actually only need one list most of the time because you can segment your contacts by adding different tags, which I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial. Um, so this is the list where all of our email contacts will be saved on once they get on our list by importing them or by if they actually sign up um, on our form or on our landing page. Thank <laughs> you.